Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So, it's been a minute since I actually uploaded a video, but um, I'm back and I'm actually really happy to be back. I kind of missed it. Actually, no, I really missed recording and making videos. Um, it's just something that I started to get in the habit to doing and, you know, I kind of miss it. I feel bad not really recording as much, um, as many videos as I was in the summer or whatever, but, uh, it's kind of winter time and I can't really do much, but, uh, and, uh, I don't know, I, I just really want to ride and make videos, so. Anyways, um, today on this beautiful day, I was just kidding, it's kind of crappy, but, um, you can get my sarcasm or whatever, but, um, today I decided to come out here and change up the seat cover. Um, I ordered a seat cover, it just came in, so, hey, why not make a video? I don't have to work today, so, it's kind of a crappy day, so, why not make a video of it? So the bikes are still a little bit dirty from Area 51, but they're not that bad. We just haven't had a chance to uh, clean them up yet. Mainly because it's been like really cold, like five degrees, zero degrees. We're gonna clean them up when it, get war when it gets warmer, but uh, that's okay. It, it's, it doesn't hurt the bike to be dirty really that much. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna take off this seat cover and I got a new seat cover for this. All right, I think that's a good spot to see what I'm doing I'm not sure I think it would really complete the bike even though the bike won't be completed when I put the seat cover on but like um, when I put the seat cover on it's really gonna make everything kind of come together and uh, look pretty nice at least uh, but uh, I still have some plans I want to get like graphics and numbers for this and uh, I have some levers coming in as well uh, for the bike too because my the bike <laughs> the kickstand or the triangle stand kept falling over or not really doing its job and it kept making the bike fall over or whatever and uh, one day the bike fell over and uh, the lever, the clutch lever kind of snapped in half so um, right here it just kind of snapped in half so we've been pretty much riding it like that for like the whole year or the whole season and uh, you know, it's, it still works, but I just decided to order some because, you know, why not? I, I needed lovers anyway, so I, I ordered some. Come on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, so before I go upstairs, I just need to find some a screwdriver like so, like a flathead screwdriver. Um, this helps so you can get, like, underneath the staple and kind of just, like, pry it out. If you're using a flathead screwdriver, you can just kind of dig underneath and then kind of just pop them out. Well, you probably can't see it but you gotta just stab it and then pop up and it pops right out and then you can use the pliers to rip them out or whatever if I'm struggling with something and I'm telling you that yes you can do this but then I immediately start to struggle so yeah don't judge. This is the seat cover I'm putting on right now. Um, I, I'll just unpack it real quick so you can actually see what you're looking at. Looks like that, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I like it. It's gonna look pretty cool when it's on the bike and on the seat now. But uh, anyways, enough talking. Let's just get this thing on there because I know it's gonna take a while. When I was uh, in the hair screen with a hog back, I uh, was coming up this hill and. Uh, I was just like so tired, I just was not having it and I almost slid right off the back and whiskey throttle into like the woods. <laughs> so maybe this will help. Mm. Like there's some little wrinkles like right here and you can barely even see them if you look close but like since we did it we know that they're there but once it's on the seat, uh, the bike, it should flex more or stretch more. Hopefully. Yeah, right there on both sides will look pretty cool. I think that looks nice. 
All right, we're back in the garage and uh, we're about to put the seat cover back on. I think it's gonna look pretty good with uh, this and the, uh, the rest of the bike, so I think it's gonna look nice. All right, so that's uh, the seat cover on this bike. Um, you can kind of see the wrinkles a little bit, but you're really not going to see that from far away or when you're actually riding it. Or, I don't know, it, it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, I'm not really a professional seat cover putter runner person, but uh, I, don't know, I think it looks nice. Like, I like that a lot. Just like the whole, it really puts it together. Like the blue kind of just made it amp, but this really puts it together. I know graphics for sure. Um, probably grips, obviously, and then the levers. Um, then maybe that might be it. I don't know. But that thing looks sick. I don't know. I like that a lot. It really brings it together. Now I just need some more things, and I think it would be close to being done. Comment down below if you guys uh, like this the way it is now. Um, uh, comment down whether you want to see more stuff or just whatever you want to see on the bike. Um, I think it looks pretty sweet as it is right now. Uh, I'm gonna be putting more stuff on it. This isn't this isn't the final part. So, like I mentioned, graphics, stuff like that, just little stuff. Um, so if there's anything you want to see on this bike, just comment down uh, below and uh, tell me what you think I should put on the bike. And so with that being said, um, that's going to be the end of this video. So if you guys enjoyed the video, like it, give it a big thumbs up, um, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you're new to the whole channel. So I'll see you guys in my next video.